Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Pager here, once again with another video on Arrow Season 4. So this is going to be my review for Episode 22, otherwise entitled, Lost in the Flood. So this is the second last episode of the season, got the finale next week, but this episode revolved around the rescue of Thea, as well as Damien Dark's plan going forward into the finale. So there will be spoilers ahead, just a heads up. But God, starting this episode off, Damien Dark overpowered? Like he was turning projectiles into dust without even trying. I thought it was a bit silly that he didn't kill Ollie and Diggle there and then, but then again, every show basically does that in some way, shape or form. I tuned out during the Felicity and her dad scene. I couldn't care less for it. Curtis was okay in that scene though, I'm not gonna lie. We got a Moira mention, which is pretty cool because Moira was awesome. And Thea has become like the most badass part of the show. And she does not take any shit from Malcolm. But did Diggle drop a The 100 reference when he brought up Mount Weather? When he brought that up, he's like, oh, what? The 100? But I'm not sure if that is actually a thing in real life. I think he references it as if it's something in real life. So it probably is. And oh God, that Smoke Family scene was absolute torture. I'm not going to lie. I actually had to agree with Felicity for once when she said stick something sharp in my eyes because that's what I was telling myself as well. It was so strange seeing Ollie in daylight in his green arrow suit, but it was even stranger when Thea turns a gun on Ollie due to her being under Hive's control thanks to the drugs. But when Ollie said to Malcolm, I should have taken your head, I was thinking, yeah, no shit Sherlock, you should have done that. I think everyone knows that you should have done that. But holy crap. How many bows did Ollie shoot in that runaway scene on the street? Like, I legit lost count. And thank the gods, he used his bow consistently. And some of the shots that he did were absolutely insane. It was one of the best action scenes this season, for sure. That hacking scene was incredibly boring. That side of the show really needs to be, really needs to be reduced, sorry, pretty heavily next season. Like, this show has more hacking than in it than it does, like, actual fighting with bows and arrows. The show's called Arrow. It's about Green Arrow, a guy that shoots arrows. Fix it. I was surprised to find out that the occupants of the dome haven't actually taken any of the pills, or at least the ones that we met. So they are in complete control. They want to be there. They are following the regime of Damien Dark. They believe in what he's doing. The fight and the later speech between Ollie and Theo was really cool and a nice touch to the episode. It was nice to see that you can, you can sort of be broken out of that drug thing pretty quickly if you have some, you know, belief and control. And even though Anarchy is a pretty well done character on the show, I did think he wasn't really necessary until he killed Ruve Dark or Ruve Adams, whatever you want to call her. And really, he sort of brought upon the destruction of that dome slash arc thing. Like, he didn't necessarily shoot that tank and bring about the explosion, but they were shooting at him, if you know what I mean. And also, the fight scene that followed with Anarchy was pretty cool as well. It was interesting to see that Damien Dark still wants the world to burn, even though there is no safe place to hide. So he isn't, he's fine with him dying as long as everyone else dies as well. And that last smoke scene towards the end of the episode, I couldn't care for at the least as well to end it off. But uh, boom, Damien Dark decided to show up and just say, you know, what's up? So it'd be interesting to see where that goes next episode. But yeah, I'm assuming he's just going to hold her hostage, I guess. But if you take away all those stupid hacking scenes and the smoke family scenes, really, really strong episode. The, the action scenes were good. Slight pacing issues, but I guess that is due to the fact that they kept going back to the smoke stuff when it wasn't really necessary so you weren't getting you know the pacing of the stuff within the dome was a bit off but it was still pretty well done for the most part so just based on the action scenes really none of the smoke stuff none of the smoke family stuff i'd probably give this like a strong nine out of ten i thought it was actually really really well done ollie actually shooting arrows a lot of arrows which was really really cool i thought diggle acted a bit strange but i guess it's understandable but yeah pretty strong episode but thanks for watching guys, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, leave in the comments section below what did you think of this episode, what do you think is going to happen next week on the finale, we'll have my trailer breakdown out in about, I don't know, 12 hours from when you're watching this video most likely, but if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye.